Here at the Herman Pickle Company, we've been making freshly packed refrigerated pickles in Garrettsville, Ohio for nearly 60 years. Herman's Pickles, that's what a pickle should taste like. I can talk a little bit about uh, hosting uh, today's meet and how many went. Yeah, we were really grateful, um, especially with the weather last night, that we were able to host this competition, and we're extremely grateful for all the schools that were able to still come and compete. Um, the West G team, they have an amazing, amazing sportsmanship. We have an outstanding senior leader, Elena. Um, she keeps the team going, um, and she is just such a phenomenal senior leader to have, and I'm so blessed to coach her. And we do have a young team, which I'm looking forward to continue building them, and all together they are a great group of girls and I'm very thankful to be coaching them. What are the highlights uh, of uh, today's meet? Yeah today's meet we had some stuck vaults which was amazing. Um, we had some our bars we needed to improve our cast angles so we improved there. Um, floor we had some big tumbling skills and the goal today was to show off the routine like embrace the personality get out there go big when you step over this uh, competition line the floor is yours so like manifest it let's go big um, in beam we had some stuck beam routines which is always fantastic um, overall a fantastic meet and I'm really proud of their their overall sportsmanship um, you know and the camaraderie and things like that I have an amazing uh, assistant Coach Tom Logar, so thankful for him. And uh, you also uh, competed on Wednesday with the runner-up finish. Can you talk a little bit about uh, uh, that meet as well? We did, yeah. Um, you know, we actually started a little bit down, and I, what I like to see is the girls really figure out where they're going with their mistakes and what is happening, and switching the mindset and being able to flip that switch and hey this is my meet this is my competition and I'm gonna keep doing the best that I can even if I had failed on the event before we're gonna move forward so uh, last meet I really um, enjoyed watching the girls their perseverance that they had and, and proud so, of the second place win <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, so in general how's the season been going season's going great this is uh, a new team for Tom and myself to be coaching um, really grateful for for the parent help. We have phenomenal parents who are always willing to help out. Um, Tom and I do a lot of goal setting with the team and we just want to make sure we put them and give them all the tools that they need to be successful. So um, season's going great and I'm looking forward to the rest of it. Yep. And you also uh, uh, coach the Chardon team. Can you talk a little bit about the uh, Chardon team this year? Yeah, so I do coach the Chardon High School gymnastics team. Uh, I was a Chardon gymnast myself so always that story of you know I'm an alumni I'm coaching it makes me really proud um, those Chardon girls give me something to keep coming back as a coach you know sometimes in today's generation I think other coaches can agree with me it's a little tough it's tough coaching and you know I feel like um, this is like a calling for me and I want to be able to motivate and be a role model to these girls so they are the reason why I keep coming back you know I am so grateful for my athletic director Doug Snyder and the principal Doug Murray, fantastic to work for, which brings me into, we're going to host a big um, high school invitational. It's called the High School Challenge, and it's going to be on uh, January 26th. We're going to have two, sh two sessions. We have a lot of schools coming, um, and it is sponsored by Chardon and also hosted by our all-around boosters here at All Around. So we're really excited, we're gonna bring out some good competition. And you know, biggest thing is the camaraderie and just cheering everyone on and making sure the girls are feeling good, they're making memories and they're having fun. Autumn is in bloom in your Geauga Park District. Explore 27 parks and miles of trails, celebrate at comfortable lodges, or attend tours of unique areas close to home. Planning is easy at geogaparkdistrict.org. 